So the day after I got the Kubota, I came out here and I started putting in a driveway because this was not here when we bought the property. And uh, no experience, no knowledge, no nothing. Just started pushing dirt and figuring it out as I went along. Um, I feel like there used to be, there used to be a big old pile of dirt over there. I don't know where I went. <laughs> um, my goal was to get it to the point where the Prius could make it up. My daughter has a Prius. Over there you can see my, uh, my uh, water meter. Um, but I figured if the Prius can make it up, anything can. And uh, as long as it's not wet and, and snotty and muddy, it, it does just fine. Um, did not put a culvert in because this was supposed to be a temporary fix and I thought the uh, city was going to or the county was going to put a culvert in um, I was wrong so if you buy it they'll put it in um, if you buy all the supplies they'll do it for you I haven't gotten that far um, it's just been low on my priorities oh. this is water line area that I dug up through here, all the rocks on this slope that pulled out of just a one foot trench. <laughs> but um, that driveway will get kind of remapped and redone eventually. Because I want to, it's pretty heavy slope and it kind of cuts back around this weird little corner. Um, Again, no plan, no knowledge, no laser levels, no marking. Just started digging. Um, functions for now. But I think what's going to end up happening is it's going to kind of cut up a little bit more this direction, sweeping up. Just to kind of cut it down a bit. So, there's that. Um, yeah, it functions. Like I said, unless it's really wet. Because then this clay just turns to liquid snot and four-wheel drive, rear differential locked, doesn't even come close to getting it up. So people are taking full advantage of the decent day today. <laughs> They're somewhere up in that mountain, I think. Don't know where they are. It's not usually this noisy, it's usually dead quiet out here. <laughs> 